What's up? Today is day four of the Feel the Love Yoga series. Today we're going to think about feeling ease. Uh, as I was going through the desire map process for this first time, Danielle Laporte, the creator of the desire map, she talked about um, using ease as a metric for success. And right away, my judgment mind jumped in and thought, ease, like, I don't want ease in my life. Ease means that I'm not an achiever and I'm not um, successful. But then I started to step back and, and reevaluate, reassess why I was feeling so like um, confrontational with that feeling. And when you look at the definition of ease, it really just means to have a sense of ease in your mind, a lack of anxiety and a lack of concern. It means to have enough money to live the life that you want to have. It's a a sense of calm and those are definitely things I want to have I can be successful and have ease in my life so ever since that that little like realization I've been trying to bring and welcome more ease into my life while still achieving things and still um, moving towards success so today we're going to kind of take it easy we're gonna be a little gentle a little bit restorative and just feel some nice juicy yoga poses um, to honor ourselves to honor some relaxation and to bring some calm into our life. So let's get going. Okay, so like I said, today is all about being easy. So we're going to go through a restorative yoga practice. And restorative practices, there's fewer poses and you hold them for extended periods of time. You'll probably notice I have some extra props here today. Nothing fancy, basically we just need a chair, some pillows from your bed or the couch, and then a, a blanket or a towel, something that you can fold up and have as some low support. So if you don't have those, go ahead and press pause, move about your house to get them, bring them back to your space so once we get started you can just move gently from one pose to the next. This is going to be kind of a a sweet and short snapshot of restorative poses. Uh, I won't have you in them for as long as you might traditionally hold them in a full length class, but if you have the time, go ahead and pause the video and stay in the poses that feel good uh, for a little bit longer. I just wanted to introduce you to a handful of things that can offer some ease into your life. So we will hold them, but not, not necessarily as long as you would in a class. So. Let's start by rolling the blanket or the towel and putting it under our sit bones so we can have uh, the, the knees fall away a little bit easier, a little bit easier to have opening in the hips. And we're going to start today with a three-part breath. So this goes by, uh, you start by putting one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. And you'll inhale and fill the belly like there's a balloon expanding. A short pause. You'll inhale again, feeling the ribs expand, a short pause. And then on the third bit of inhale, you'll fill the top of your chest, pause, and then exhale all out in one smooth breath. So belly, pause, ribs, pause, chest, pause, one full exhale. Let's give it a try. This is to help bring us to the present moment and bring some peace of mind and ease to our bodies. So start by exhaling all of your air. Inhale the belly. Pause. Expand the ribs. Pause. Fill the chest. Pause. Exhale. Good. Inhale the belly. Expand the ribs, fill the chest, exhale, fill the belly, expand the ribs, fill the chest, exhale. As you exhale, think about pulling your belly button in towards your spine. It'll help squeeze out, press out all of the air, get the stale out air out. So on the next inhale, we'll bring in fresh air. Let's go through this three more times. So fill the belly, expand the ribs, 
fill the chest. And exhale. Two more on your own. We're going to move into our one and only standing pose for today. So go ahead and move your blanket or towel off to the side and you're going to bring the chair, uh, the back of the chair towards you. Place, place your hands on the back and walk your feet away so that you're about three to four feet away from the chair and then you're going to drop your heart and chest down towards the floor. Now if you can, Think about spinning the upper arm towards the ceiling. While at the same time, spinning the upper leg back towards the wall behind you. Pull your belly button in. And breathe into the back of your body. On your next inhalation, slowly rise and walk yourself back towards the chair. The next move we're going to do, the next pose, is supported child's pose. So bring your big toes together, open your legs wide so that we can bring some pillows in. And we'll put the pillows between our legs. I like to stack them high on this one. And then you're just going to recline over the pillows here. Let yourself get heavy, make any adjustments you need, and then rest your cheek to one side. We'll switch about midway. Continue practicing those full breaths. Feel your belly press into the pillows. And your back body expand. Switch sides so that you're laying on the opposite cheek. Inhale, slowly rise. Walk yourself up with your hands. And we're going to turn towards the chair once again. And this time you'll want to have the chair facing you so that you can rest your forehead. We're going to go into a supported Baddha Konasana, so a butterfly with some support from the chair. Go ahead and grab your blanket or towel and move it under your sit bones. So that you can have elevated hips here. And then what we're going to do is just gently fold and rest our forehead on the chair. If this feels too far away, you're welcome to bring in one of the pillows. 
and just raise the chair. Make it higher for yourself. And you can rest your forehead there. Bring yourself back to this room, to the present moment, using your breath. Feel your hips get heavy as you ease more and more into the pose. Let yourself release the weight of your body. Next, inhale, rise. Go ahead and move the chair off to the side. We won't need that anymore, but we will need our pillows again. So make a nice tall stack of them. And then what we're gonna do is scooch up next to them, sitting off onto one, one hip with the feet both pointing out to the opposite side. The pillows will co come in close to the, to the side of your body. And then as you lay down, Rotate your chest towards the pillow. And you can either settle in here, looking towards the direction your knees are facing, or you can take the twist a little bit deeper by inhaling and then exhaling as you lower onto the opposite cheek. about the inhale and the exhale. Feel the ease move through your body. On the next inhale, slowly walk your hands up. We'll move the pillows to the opposite hip and our feet to the opposite side. And then once again, get the pillows lined up on your hip. And as you lay down, twist your chest towards the support. fully revolving with the neck or not, whatever feels best to you today.
Feel the breath move in and out. On your next inhale, push yourself back up gently. And our pillows are done for today, so they can be pushed off to the side. We're just going to bring our feet out in front of us. And before we move into some yummy legs up the wall, let's just give them a little bit of love. So massage out the soles. Our feet are our foundation, and they carry us miles and miles and miles. So it's so important that we Show them a little bit of love now and then, often actually. Then let's try something to help with our yogi toes, the wide finger-like toes. We're gonna take each of our fingers and weave them between our toes. And once you get them there, see if you can pull them close to the base of your toe so that they're really stretched open. Then we're just going to open our fingers and close them. The more advanced poses we move into, the better it is to have some support from our feet. So toes that can be wide and active and grippy are super helpful. So if we never spread them apart, we can't expect them to respond like that when it's time to do the poses. So we spread them now so that they'll be ready to help us later. Switch to the opposite foot. Okay. Opening and closing the fingers. The last pose for today, we're going to do legs up the wall. If you have any issues with blood pressure, you may just want to skip this pose and do Shavasana instead. So laying out in corpse pose on your back. If you're ready for legs up the wall, an easy way to get into it is to sit with your hip really close to the side of the, your hip really close to the wall. And then as you lay down, you'll swing your legs up. And once you're there, you may want to slide your blanket or your towels under your hip bones. Activate your feet so you can get some good alignment. Feel your hips press into the ground. And then you can let them be at ease. Your hands can rest in a goalpost shape or on your belly. Whatever is best to you. Bring yourself back to the three part breath. So exhale all the air. Fill the belly. Expand the ribs. Fill the chest. Exhale. Twice more on your own. Feel the grounding of your hips. Puts our heart at a lot of ease to be in this position. Doesn't have to work as hard to get blood to all the vital organs. Just 
you have the time, please stay here for a few more minutes. If you're ready to come out, slide your feet down the wall and let the bottoms of your feet come together. And hug the knees in and roll to the right side with the right arm extended overhead. Wait for a breath or two. And press yourself back up to seated. I hope you've enjoyed this juicy restorative practice. I've had so much fun doing it myself here. I feel very refreshed. Bring ease into your life. Let it happen. Let love come in. Let ease come in. You'll be amazed at how well things flow when you're open to them being easy. I'm wishing you all the very best. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. So that's it for day four. I hope you enjoyed it. For me, it felt amazing and was completely needed. Um, if you feel like anybody you know would enjoy this, please pass this on to them or tag them in the comments below. If you have any questions or comments, also feel free to leave them in the notes below. I look forward to engaging with you. Wishing you all the best. I'll see you tomorrow.